60 cents. 60 cents of every dollar given to arts and cultural organizations in this country goes to the top 2% of arts groups. That means that the other 40 cents of every dollar is fought over by the other 98% of the arts and cultural community in this country. So if there's a group that you used to support that is no longer here, or a program that you enjoyed that an organization used to do that it doesn't do anymore, that's the reason why those programs, those organizations no longer exist. Hi, I'm Gary Anderson and I'm coming to you this holiday season to encourage you to make a contribution to Plowshares because of that situation. Many people say, well, just go get a grant and you can do your work. That is just not the case for many of us. The largest organizations are able to campaign, solicit, and get large appropriations from those three sources. Smaller organizations like Plowshares are not always able to get the dollars that we need. We may get rewarded grants, but they may not cover the full extent of the work that we want to do or allow us to have resources to continue to expand the market and encourage more people to participate in our work. Individual giving, contributions from folks like you, is how we are able to do the work we do and expand the impact. Our mission is critical because our mission is not just simply to entertain. We are here to reflect and respond to the issues and topics of importance of the community in which we exist. Back when we came out of the pandemic, we made a pledge to do work that was more responsive and connected to the community of artists and patrons that we had been able to cultivate. Many of you supported us through that time and we were grateful. And so we are asking you to once again, come to us to support us. Because when we came out of that pandemic, the first show we did was tackling a subject that had never been addressed in this community prior to that through the arts. And that was dealing with the demolition of Black Bottom. Our musical Hastings Street for the first time reflected the trauma that had occurred to an entire community of citizens. Some of them still existing here. Some of them who are descendants who still exist here. We did that because theater reflects life. And we believe Plowshares is that celebration. We did that because we know that there are those that go unheard every day who are voiceless in the fabric of their own neighborhoods, who for 60 years had struggled with dealing with that subject and had never had anybody reflect or provide an opportunity for them to go through a process of grieving and healing. I had people walk up to me after that show in tears to thank me for Plowshares producing that play. People who grabbed me in the aisleways at the music hall. This past spring, we did another show that challenged our community to, to expand its sense of compassion and empathy. We did a story about a young black queer boy and his relationship with his estranged father. I had challenges of my own with my own father and in my life. And so I completely identify with the circumstances in the story. But we didn't do it because it connected with me. We did it because we connected with, in many cases, the issue of LGBTQ relatives is one that is still challenging for many people in the Black community. And so we provided it as an opportunity for us to open up a dialogue. Plowshares exist to serve you, to give you plays that are not ch always challenging, but are evoking of subjects that matter. We think our work should heal. And so that is how we are looking at it. And going forward, we are looking at more ways to expand what we do. But we need you to help us. Again, our website is www.plowsharestheater.com. Dot org. Hit that big red button and make a charitable donation. 
You won't regret it. In fact, you'll be happy that you did. Thank you. We ask you to uh, please consider this request. And we hope that you have a wonderful holiday season.